Hi there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Vera and in today's video I'm going to be setting up my September bullet journal spreads. I'm very excited for this one because it is a beautiful coral theme and I'm really excited to show you and I hope you enjoy. Now if you watched my theme from last week you'll probably already know that I'm going for coral themes for the rest of 2022 and for September I'm going with similar corals, different colours and there are a couple of different ones as well. But to start off with I'm going to write the word September on the cover page. I've gone for a very mini minimal but long lines kind of font and I'm going to write 2022 around the top of the S with a white jelly roll. Now I will also go over the color names for these but I will do that when we get closer to the colors and for 2022 just a general R. Now I should have used a compass to determine the arc properly and not gone in directly with the pen without thinking it out which is why the word 2 is kind of off to the side. So I'm going to use a black butter and olive acrylograph just to fix that up and then and we'll come back to that and fix it in just a moment. The coral this time is slightly different because in my first few spreads of 2022 I decided to go with straight sticking up coral and this time I'm going to do some coral that's a little bit more rounded and a little bit more detailed and I'm going to go in with this purple acrylograph. All of the colors this month are going to be kind of purple because I felt like purple would stand out really nicely in this journal. I have a bunch of different colors of the acrylographs and I really want to get more now that I'm starting to use a blackout journal but I bet you by the time I decide to order more they'll arrive too late for me to think about it so I'm not gonna order any more just yet but just in case you want to buy some of these funky acrylographs you can use code Avero10 for 10% off archerandolive.com. Anyway so for this coral as you can see it's more rounded and I'm just going to color it in as well. I'm happy that I colored it in because I think colored in it kind of makes it stand out a little bit more and now that I finished that I'm going to go back in with an Archer and Olive acrylograph, a white one this time to fix up the word two. I could have gone with a jelly roll but I wasn't sure if it would hold up over the top of the black Archer and Olive acrylograph so I decided to go in with a white one. Again I kind of didn't quite get it right either but I'm not going to redo it for a third time. <laughs> I've decided that because the coral, the purple coral is a little bit by itself I'm going to add in a white kind of owl behind it and I'm going to alternate using a white acrylograph and another white pen. I'm going to be alternating between various different white pens throughout this whole journal whilst I figure out which ones are best for black paper. Some days I prefer using one, some days I prefer using the other. I think they all do a relatively good job. I will say though that the two jelly rolls that I have I will use for all of my to-do lists because they are thinner than the Arch and Olive acrylographs for example and the other two pens so that's probably the only differentiation that I will make. As you can see here because I need to do more finer details I've gone in with a different white pen because the Arch and Olive acrylograph was just a little too fat for some of the detailing that I wanted to do behind my existing purple coral. In hindsight if I had decided to do the white part before the purple coral it would have made a lot more sense but because it's only an after edition I've clearly not done that so it's a little bit harder and a little bit more fiddly for me to do but that's okay it's a lesson learned and I won't be making the same mistake again for the rest of the journal. Now that we're about to finished with our cover page it's time to move on to my monthly log and first of all I'm going to use the same kind of font and write the word monthly log on the top with really long lines for specific letters and I really love this font it's very nice very simple to do and it looks really really effective I'm going to do some of the kind of algae like coral or I don't even know if you would call this algae definitely coral but really long coral going in with another purple acrylograph to give it some color and I'm going to add a couple more corals here including this really weird silver one I don't actually like this one and it's the only kind of coral like this that I will ever do. I'm not going to try it again because it looks weird. I'm going to use a black acrylograph to kind of give it a little bit more dimension but something's off with this and I think it's a bit messed up but I'll think about it. Next up is doing the calendar. So this month I'm going for a little bit of a different thing and instead of drawing out a calendar which is definitely my usual style I'm going to go with a vertical calendar. Now I haven't done one of these since January. They are nice. They have their upsides and their downsides. I don't know if I particularly like this idea. I know it can be functional, but I do generally prefer having a calendar. But because this bullet journal is so small, I wanted to try something new, hence why I'm going with this little calendar style. I'm going to write the numbers on the right and the days of the week on the left, just so I know where I am. And then I'm just going to use another acrylograph underneath just to kind of define or detail each of the seven days so that I see exactly where each new week is 
going to start. I feel like I'm a very visual person so when things are kind of listed out like in a table form I kind of get a bit lost so I do need that visual representation of what my month is supposed to look like so this spread might not be for me but we will see. And then of course adding a little bit more coral details on the bottom so again with my vertical or my long little coral slash algae whatever you want to call it and I'm just going to go over it in another purple yet again. Now whilst we watch me paint this purple coral I'm going to go over the different names of the different colors from the Archer and Olive acrylic graph sets that I have on the right and I hope that I get these colors right so that if you are interested in buying them you can find the right color. From the top right we have the purple that is from the Warm Fall collection. Now I don't have the name exactly because since last week or since I've been filming this they don't seem to be selling individual acrylic graphs at the moment so couldn't find the name but it is the dark purple from the Warm Fall collection. The next one I believe is the purple from the second subscription box. The next two purples are the ones from the first subscription box. The next purple is the purple from the tropical collection and the last purple is the purple from the primary collection. Anyway on to the next spread. My next spread is of course my focus page and my habits tracker. I don't know why I said of course because I've never done a focus page before although I have done a level 10 life before which is basically exactly the same thing but I'm doing it per month this time and I haven't done a level 10 life since 2021 at the very beginning of the year and if you're unfamiliar with what a level 10 life is you can click on one of my videos over here I do go through it in more depth but for this month I'm going for a focus page instead of a level 10 life because focus just sounds better to me than level 10. Anyway before going into detail of what categories of my life I want to look at I'm just going to do some detailing first. I'm going to draw some coral as always let's just quickly flip through this and then I'm going to go in with eight different boxes. Because I've angled my page this way I'm going to do my boxes the same direction so they're going to be headers but when you're looking at the journal normally they will kind of be off to the side and so it'll look a bit weird but that's okay because I'm going to just deal with it. The boxes I'm going to do are in the different colors of acrylographs so here you can compare the acrylographs a little bit better if you were a little bit confused when I was doing the explanation at the very beginning of my video and the very first purple is the purple from the warm fall collection then I'm going to use the next purple which I believe I said was the purple from the second subscription box I'm going to then use the two purples from the subscription box then going on to the purple from the tropical collection going to the primary purple and then I'm going to repeat the warm fall purple one more time as well as the second subscription box purple one more time. In each of these boxes I'm going to write the different categories that I've chosen and the categories that I have chosen are health, fitness, mental health, family, friends, career, finances and fun. These are the eight different aspects of my life that I'm most focused on at the moment so it's still quite similar to a level 10 life. In the focus section I don't know which way I'm going to write because I haven't exactly planned it out yet but I'm going to write the big titles the big topics that I want to cover this month when I want to focus on them for example in health I want to go back to being a vegetarian because I did take a break from that for a while and I started eating meat again I also want to definitely drink more water I want to take care of my skin etc in terms of fitness I swim every single day which I've mentioned frequently in all of my videos but in terms of like other parts of my body I'm only repeating activities on the same core group of muscles and I want to work on other groups of muscles. For mental health, mental health is super super important to me. I struggle with anxiety. I just want to focus on myself and making sure that I am okay with how I'm doing in life. I think I definitely want to go see a therapist. I just want to make sure that I'm working on the aspects that I need to be working on and that I'm comfortable with the aspects of myself that I might be most critical of. For my mental health, I find that I burn out quite a lot. I just really need to focus on how best to manage my time whilst giving myself time to work on these aspects of my life that I want to work on but also relaxing and taking my time and just appreciating the level and the pace at which I'm going. Next is family. My family is super important to me. I want to make sure that I'm communicating well with them and that I am living harmoniously with them. As you might know I did move back in with my parents back in November so it is a bit of another learning curve. It's been seven years since I lived with my mum and dad so it is difficult but I just need to work on being more communicative and cooperative with my parents so that we get along. For friends, I just want to make sure that I'm staying in touch with my closest friends. I want to make sure that I'm checking up on my
my friends, making sure that they are doing okay. And if they're not doing okay, what can I do to help them? Or do they just need me to be there for them? What do they need? I just want to make sure that I am the best friend that I can possibly be. In terms of Korea, Korea is basically my current job. It is this YouTube channel. It is being somewhere in the art space online, selling my creative side. I'm just trying to figure out how to best manage that because I feel like I spend a lot of time procrastinating. Next is finances. Finances. It's important for everybody to look after their finances, to have goals that they're saving up for. I need to establish new financial goals. I know that my parents do tend to worry about these things for me, so I just want to have a clear financial setting so that they do not worry as much. Now I know I've kind of gone off on a tangent with all of these goals, but I hope this helps you if you are trying to navigate your personal life with goals so that you can work on this as well. My last category is the most important one. It's fun time because if you're not having fun in your life, then what the heck are you doing? For me, fun time is anything of like going out with my friends, reading books, watching TV, listening to podcasts, listening to audiobooks, painting for fun because I've got to be honest, I don't paint for fun a lot anymore. I'm always thinking about how, what to film, when to film, how to film it, making sure it's social media ready, but I just don't do it for myself anymore. So I need to make sure that I'm incorporating that back into my life. Anyway, tangent over, let's get back into the planning. I know this has been a bit long, so if you've stuck with this all this way, thank you very much and I really appreciate it. For my habits page, I'm just going to set it up in the same layout as my focus page. I'm going to draw some coral on it and the corals are just really randomly spaced different colors. I haven't exactly decided how I'm going to fit my habits onto this page yet. I do know that there are 32 rows in these pages so if I wanted to do habits I could just do them vertically like I've done multiple times before. If you're interested in different habit layouts by the way you can check my Instagram. I have a whole guide section dedicated to the different habit trackers that I've used in the past and I think that they're really helpful for me personally because I like to refer back to them when I'm figuring out what habits to do. I'm not going to show you what habits I track in this video or what I decide because as it stands it is currently the beginning of August and I have no idea what I need to be tracking in September so you'll see that when I plan my weekly spreads for September in a couple of weeks although for you it'll probably be only one week but for me it'll be in a couple of weeks. My final spread that I'm going to be doing today is my first weekly spread of September and I am going for a rolling weekly. Now rolling weeklies I'm reintroducing them because I get really busy but I also have days where I just ditch my bullet journal and I have no time to pick it up so I need a spread that is functional for the days that I need it but not wasting any paper when I'm not using it at all and because I'm working shift based hours I need to be able to write those down somewhere which is why I'm just going to have kind of like these event squares on the left where I have every single day of the week where I can put my shifts in the calendar but I can also put any other events such as catching up with friends as I've already mentioned. I'm just going to do seven different rectangles of about six squares across and then I'm going to color those in with the acrylograph again. This one is the purple from the tropical collection and of course adding in my corals yet again because that is the core theme this month. white hybrid gel grip from Pentel I believe to write out Monday through to Sunday on these little purple squares. Now we've gotten to the flip through portion of the video, everybody's favorite obviously, and I'm just going to flip through my first couple of pages. So this very first page here is my September cover page. It is definitely one of my favorites. It's definitely a very minimal theme. I have not done such a minimal theme in quite a long time. My focus page which is new and which I've talked about extensively. My habits tracker which is not filled out but in my next video I will show you what habits I'm tracking and then finally my first weekly spread. If you've enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up, leave me a little fish emoji down below just so that I know who watches to the end of the video and if you want to check out more bullet journaling setups you can check out this video right over here.